apologize. My apologies. MSNBC apologizes. We apologize. I'd like to apologize. Political correctness gone mad in the U.S. From media pundits and giggle fests. From a pussy willow branch. <laughs> it's really so stupid. <laughs> to advertising trying to spice up an old concept like Oreos and milk, to sports managers praising Fidel Castro. I'm very, very, very sorry. Even political comedians mixing religion and female body parts. Maybe women could protect their reproductive organs from unwanted medical intrusions with vagina mangers. <laughs> Saying anything in public, even when obviously joking, has become a minefield. You say something off color, you tweet something off color, all of a sudden you've got 15 people criticizing you for whatever as in an attempt to take you down or not. Pushing an increasing number of people into endless apologies. Anderson Cooper should not have had to give a public apology for giggling at the word pussy willow. I think that's adorable. That's just the 10 year old boy and him emerging and scampering about in short pants. It's really absurd. I mean, people get more angry about a word like pussy willow than they do about, say, a drone strike that kills 30 innocent people in Afghanistan. We apologize. We really do. Meaningless political campaign. correctness Paul has given President rise Obama to meaningless Friday, rituals of remorse. Saturday, an apology from Rush Limbaugh. It's like going to church and going through all the motions but not really believing in God. Of gender discrimination. In an overly Basically litigious culture, cries of discrimination are often is, simply uh, an excuse to sue. Is ladies night discriminatory. There was a lawyer here in New York that sued all of the bars in New York that had ladies' nights because that was gender discrimination. So it's become this sort of parody of politeness and parody of equity where, in fact, people are just going overboard. It starts from early on. One school in America came up with rules on what a prom dress should and should not look like. It's even more worrying because there's more and more authoritarianism in the schools. There's police in the schools. There are rules being, uh, you know, imposed on students. The New York Department of Education recently attempted to ban 50 potentially offensive terms from school tests. Words like dinosaur in case it offends those who deny evolution, and divorce to not hurt the feelings of kids whose parents are no longer together, even birthday because it's not celebrated by Jehovah's Witnesses. The idea was publicly mocked and finally scrapped. A victory for common sense many cheered, but critics say more will follow, despite the hypocrisy. In the real world, people drop F-bombs all the time. In the real world, uh, people do cheat all the time. And to be like, oh, my God, it's people cheating on their, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's just kind of ridiculous. As the list of words and deeds considered politically, socially or morally unacceptable grows, the United States of America, a country that prides itself on freedom of speech, could be well on its way to becoming the United States of, I'm sorry. Anastasia Cherkina, RT, New York.